price tags for these cars often don't come cheap, and in just over a month, any new electric vehicle imported from China could cost double. The tariff on Chinese EVs was announced Monday. Actors like China have chosen to give themselves an unfair advantage in the global marketplace. Critics fear the tariff will make it harder for prospective buyers to get into the market. We're disappointed, but maybe more importantly, I think there are a few people out there who would have hoped to purchase an electric vehicle who might be disappointed too. Chinese brands aren't readily available in BC, but many Teslas sold here are made in China. It's not going to have a big effect on consumers right away. This Vancouver electric vehicle consultant says Tesla should be able to adapt with minimal impact to buyers. It's the right decision to, to do this, um, but it's not going to really affect uh, consumers' choice. We basically mainly import Teslas from Shanghai. Um, and now there'll be Teslas from California or Texas. Meanwhile, BC's Premier stands behind the Prime Minister's decision as it falls in line with measures taken by the U.S. I understand, and I think a lot of Canadians do, uh, the importance of Canada maintaining as much as possible a unified North American market with our biggest customers to the south, the United States. Canada is in the early days of getting its own EV manufacturing industry off the ground, with more and more plants under construction in central Canada. In November, a battery plant was announced for BC in Maple Ridge. Experts say the tariffs will help sustain the facilities in the long run. Here in Canada, we are only at the early stages of cranking out production. So right now, there are not very many jobs at stake, but they will be down the road. The tariff goes into effect on October 1st. Ottawa will review it a year later. John Hernandez, CBC News, Vancouver.